This is a Jekyll Knight video blog. Jekyll Knight here. I hate leap years. Do you know why? Because there's another fucking day, man. That's fucking bullshit. Why can't it be 28 days in February instead of 29? <laughs> Just kidding, that's not the reason. The reason why I hate leap year is it's political year. The year we elect a new president. And I fucking hate political season. I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I hate choosing a fucking side. I hate voting for a fucking president because both sides are fucking bullshit. And it's a time of year when family members that are close are different political parties and they spend the entire year arguing about what fucking president is or presidential candidate is better than the other. I fucking hate that, you know. And this year, who am I going to vote for? President Obama? Mitt Romney. I do not give two fucking shits about either of those candidates. There is one thing that happened during the Obama administration that I'm not a fan of. A few years ago I used to be a smoker and a lot of years before that. <laughs> Here, I don't know if you can see it, my exposure really sucks. Yeah. But this is an unopened pack of Camel Lights cigarettes. It says lights on the blue part. It does not say blue. You know, passing a law saying just because it says light doesn't make the cigarette lighter. It's still, you know, heavy and it doesn't have less nicotine and tar just because it says light. So you can't call it light. So we're going to pass the law. So you have to call it something else. Like. Camel Blues, I think Ultralights or Silvers, I think, I don't know. Like I said, I stopped smoking a couple years ago. Or it's been over a year and a half since I quit smoking. And I do miss smoking, I want to fucking go back. But anyways, that's bullshit that that happened, that should have never happened. If you're stupid enough to think that smoking light cigarettes are going to be healthy, you're a fucking moron. You don't need the government to try to regulate and do all that kind of shit. But, who am I going to vote for this year? None of the can you know, I'm not... Obama might do good, I don't know. With the Republicans running things, Obama's not going to get shit done. It's going to be another four years, a waste of time. And he can only kill Osama Bin Laden once. So... And... I really don't trust Republicans either, you know. Ever since Bush, you know. I don't think Mitt Romney's a bones and skull and shit, but... I don't know, I don't really like Mitt Romney. He seems to be like a millionaire that doesn't really... connect with normal people. You know, the... And the thing we need to rescue is the middle class. Mitt Romney does not seem to really focus too much on the middle class. Obama doesn't either, you know, and that's the thing that, you know, we need to try to rebuild. We don't want to be like fucking Mexico where there's people living in shit houses and made of dirt, then have fucking wealthy ass castles and shit, you know. We need a balance, and we're losing that balance pretty quickly. But, I just hate all the fucking bickering, you know. Just all the back and forth arguing, you know. I don't know why America is like, you have to be on one side, if not you're on the other, you know. If you're on this side, you can only have these thoughts. If you had another side, ooh, you're against that, you know, you must be this side, you know. And it's like that with a lot of stuff in America. I'm not a person that chooses sides. I'm usually the kind of in-between guy that looks at everything, you know, has an open mind about everything. I don't need to hear one side, choose a side, and just... Listen to all the bullshit and be blind about everything else. You know. And being a Republican or being a Democrat, you have to choose a side. You're going to have a lot of good ideas. You're going to have you're gonna have a lot of fucked up ideas. And even if you don't agree with the bad ideas, you're stuck with that 
party, so you have to do what they say. I don't know, I just hate the two-party system. It hasn't worked in the past few years, and it's just getting worse. And hearing family members, hearing good friends that have been friends forever stop talking because they have a heated argument about who should be president. Who gives a fuck? None of the presidents are going to do any good because the president's one person. They can only have so much power, and the power that they do have it's only going to be for politics to make them look better. You know, a president's only one person, you know. They still have to deal with all the other political bullshit, all the different branches of government. And, I don't know. It's been making me think, am I even going to vote this year? I don't know. I don't even know who to vote for. Is there the third candidate or like one of those independent ones that never wins? I'll probably throw my vote away there, you know, but... I hate political season. It's fucking bullshit. It tears people apart. And they don't, you know... I don't know, it just frustrates me. I had to rant about it. That's all for this. I'll rant you guys next time. I just thought of this. <laughs> is it racist to say that Obama is N-word rich? Because he spends a lot of money, puts our national debt, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, Obama spends a lot of money and stuff, you know. <laughs>